What is going on? I'm Rami. This is the Black Tech Experience Software Engineer at a Fame Company. And today you're watching a clip from my live where I'm going over AI Devin. I would say that this is a must watch for any student who's thinking about quitting because they feel like the AI hype, they don't feel like there's going to be any jobs around. I think we have a very interesting take as people who are actually doing the jobs on what we see and what we think is the potential of AI. And yeah, go back and watch the entire stream. I'll link it at the end. You need to know exactly the, the skeptics. I show you ex the skeptics and the people who are saying that AI is going to take our jobs in two to three years. So enjoy the video. Let's get I feel into too, it. feel like if I was a beginner programmer and I didn't know how to do anything, there's a lot more people like that. There's a lot more people who don't know how to code than people know how to code. And so when they look at something like this, oh my gosh, it's coding. Oh my gosh, it's running things in the terminal. It's looking up documentation. It's calling an API. That's like, to us, that's like, whatever. That's what you do day to day. That's what the people who are software engineers who are the minority already do. And so if I was like looking into getting into this field, it would seem really concerning because it's like, oh my gosh, it knows how to do these things that I don't. But then there's a smaller subsect of people who are way quieter, I think, who are like, Okay, like that's not that complicated. It ran a lint command. It, right. it interacted or got data from to the reaction part of this content. What we're going to be looking at now is if you've seen one of my past videos, Devin AI. Devin AI is the world's first AI engineer. It can run benchmarks. It can do simple tasks without the use of human beings. And it's currently saying that it is 10 times better than chat GPT and the other models that are around. If you try, it said that it was able to solve 15% of, of issues on GitHub, which if you don't know what GitHub is, it is a place where people can upload code privately or publicly. They uploaded the code. It was able to solve issues on GitHub, just like human beings do. Um, and also, a, another note is that GitHub can be used to, to, for open source, where people can go and work on projects for free for other people to gain experience. And so, with this wealth of information and knowledge, Devon AI was able to solve problems just as good as any human being. Well, not any human being, but it was able to solve many problems way farther than the average model. And so we're gonna be looking at a video of other software engineers like me asking, do they think that Devon AI is ever gonna be capable of taking their jobs? So let's get into it. Tired of having oh. <laughs> just what I thought I had it all the way figured out. The ad shows up. I'm gonna be listening to it. All right, so we're back. I chat with three of my coding YouTuber friends. You might not watch all of it. Tech with Tim, Kevin Naughton Jr., and Nick White about software development's seemingly looming threat. We'll be discussing Devon AI, the impacts that AI has on software development as a whole, if you should be worried, and ways you can sort of future-proof your career. Now, I'm really excited to share this video with you because we had a ton of fun filming it. So, Tim, can you tell us about Devon AI? Yeah, so Devon AI has been kind of going viral over the past few days. And from what I hear and from what's out there, it's the first AI software engineer. Now, according to Devon itself or the company that's behind it, it can solve about 14% of GitHub issues. It might not seem like a crazy amount, but compared to something like ChatGPT that can currently solve five, 
it's pretty impressive. Now, from what I understand, the way it can do that is because it has access to its own IDE, its own browser, its own console, and the demo video they showed at least, the way it solves problems is very similar to how any of us would do it. It makes a plan, it starts solving it, it runs into an issue, it debugs the issue, it goes on Google like any of us would do, like a normal software engineer, and starts solving problems. So it's pretty incredible so far to see it working, but I don't really know what it's going to mean for the future. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds pretty trash. Yeah, you don't like it? <laughs> 14% is pretty bad. I mean, um, that's a lot, though. I mean, for an AI, I think Chad GPT was around 5% yeah. of issues. I know, but these all just came out in the past like year. How many years. GitHub issues can you solve, percentage-wise? Uh, probably 99. Yeah. That's yeah. That sounds about right. But no, I mean, that's pretty fast like development. So, for me, I don't think I can solve all of GitHub issues, and I think these guys are being kind of, uh, what is the word? Facetious? That might not be the correct word, but they are trying to be funny. Um, definitely there's some, especially if you don't have, uh, especially if you don't have experience in a language, solving a GitHub issue can sometimes take weeks or months i think what's cool about the idea of an ai doing certain things is that the ai might have solved it in like 10 15 minutes and so that is something that if it can perform well like we'd love to it it, it will replace human beings but yes like a lot of times i don't think people understand how much writing code is just being familiar with the entire code base at my job i'm working on a new service and even to this day like i'm seeing files that i've never seen before and they give me a, a holistic better understanding of how to use it how to use the service a lot better so there is a part of computer science which is learning um, learning the service that you're working on and programming it for a long time. And it gets a lot easier as you spend more time on it, especially if you spend two or three, four years on it. So, yeah. From ChatGPT, where it was a year ago. Yeah, it's only been out a year. Well, yeah, a year and change. And now we've got this thing. Right. I mean, that's only a year, so that's pretty bad. Yeah, that is true. I mean, 14% is low, but it's just rapidly increasing. Yeah. Year over year. So it is pretty, I mean, it is kind of concerning, like to be honest. Yeah, I think the 14%, you got to put in the perspective of all software engineers. From what I understand, yeah. in that same data set, it's like all software engineers, like normal ones that are working, and solve like 70 to 75% of those GitHub issues. But it's how much better is it going to get? But when I look at a stat like that, I wonder what issues is it actually solving, or right? is it refactoring something? Is it doing a basic fix? Like, it's difficult to get much information from those kind of stats. I think now it's just, uh, you know, we're just guessing what it's potentially going to be able to do. Yeah. So it Googles for pr like answers to problems? Yeah, you can see in the demo video that it needs to use some kind of API. So what it does is it goes and like looks up the API documentation as like a reference, and you'll see it in like the little browser. All right, so it's definitely not human. No one looks at docs. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> yeah. I asked ChatGPT. I think that's funny. It's like there's a, there's a part of programming that's like documentation right and i've heard people say if you don't know what doc uh if you don't if you're not familiar with stack overflow it's basically the site where we go and we ask questions to other software engineers and then somebody said something like stack overflow is documentation and so oh i had the thing right um it's documentation my bad let me i lost my train of thought Stack Overflow is, is documentation, which is instead of the people who actually wrote the software and wrote the services that we use every day, telling us every single thing that we need to know, sometimes they have left out details that need to be asked on Stack Overflow. And I think this is where people are going to struggle or the AI is going to struggle is because even in my team, even in my job, sometimes I have to 
have meetings with teams in order to figure out exactly what do they want or what do they need in order to make their service work because they have not correctly documented everything, every step that they need to do. And so AI is gonna, I think there needs to be a, a, a better emphasis on software engineers writing great documentation before AI can come along and program because some of this stuff can be kind of esoteric knowledge and that you have to be like, for instance, at Twitch, the entire code base got leaked, but you don't see, it's not like you see everybody. It's not like we saw like 20 or 40 or 60 new, uh, new Twitches come up because you still need thousands. You need people like me with specialized knowledge who knows how to run the code. And then some information is hard to necessarily copy because it's, it's, um, yeah, some information was left out of the documentation. So, and I could not agree more. Like AI is, if I were a student or if I had to talk to you guys personally, I would say that programming is definitely um, still a great thing to learn, right? Like, I don't think AI is just going to like be able to replace software engineers overnight. Like it's going to be gradual step by step. And um, definitely if you don't know, like um, learning how to program is going to give you a leg up on other software engineers. I mean, other people who don't know how to code to be able to use these systems a lot better. And so, um, yeah, there's a lot of great reasons to learn how to code as far as like what you learn from critical thinking um, and all that. So I can't agree with that more. I'm going to, what is it? I'm going to share this link at the bottom. But yeah, this was, this was a great video. I want to thank you so much for watching the video to the entirety Every single time you like, subscribe, and comment, this really pushes the channel forward and helps us get to our goals. I really want to just say thank you. And if you are hating, it's all good. The hating helps too. Peace.